Gardening has become more and more popular during these times. Our partners at Better Homes and Gardens are sharing tips for how to keep your garden in tip top shape. First off, deadhead perennials. As soon as flowers are spent, cut them off, which keeps the plant looking tidy and also prevents the seeds from spreading in your garden and becoming a weed problem. Also, pinch back late blooming perennials. Do this at least once in early summer. For example, pinch back Cetamaster and Goldenrod to keep them more compact and delay bloom. Now, the rule of thumb is to pinch plants back before the 4th of July. Don't forget those dead branches. In summer, when trees are leafed out, you can easily spot them. Trim them off when you see them. Of course, control those weeds, too. This may be the least favorite summertime chore, but it is important. Reduce the time required for weeding by making it a regular task. Once a week, just walk your garden with your favorite tool and scratch out weeds. Also on the list, fertilize your lawn. By June, the fertilizer that most homeowners apply may be wearing off, so it's a good time to apply more. Fertilize your annuals and vegetables too. Fast-growing annuals and vegetables are typically heavy feeders. Every couple weeks, apply a dose of fertilizer to keep them actively growing and healthy. And finally, raise your mowing height. During the summer, mow your lawn at the highest setting. That's because taller grass is more drought tolerant and will stay healthier in that summer heat. Interesting. And water is one of the most important things to keep an eye on as we head into summer. Always remember to water your containers frequently, water new shrubs and trees once a week, and water your lawn in the morning, giving it about one inch a week. For more great tips like that, go to bhg.com.